Welcome back guys. Uh, in this video, we are going to learn about arrays in PHP. So what are arrays? Uh, arrays are uh, these data structures which are used to hold or store similar data types. So for an example, uh, you are going to make an application which is going to hold the record of all the students in your class. So suppose now you want to store the roll number of all the students. Uh, the only option you are left with is that you will create 50 different variables which will hold the individual roll numbers of all the students. Imagine how inconvenient it would be. Even if it's 50, you may do it. But what will happen if there are thousands of students? Then it's not possible. So the alternative is you create an array and you store all the similar kind of roll numbers into it. So in programming, arrays give us this option where uh, instead of creating variables for similar kind of data, we store them into one variable that is an array. Okay, let's start. So we are back into sublime text. We are creating a new file and saving it as array underscore demo dot php. Okay, let's start with the php tags. Okay. So now uh, the first array, there are different kinds of arrays. So we are going to discuss each one of them. So the first type of array that we are going to discuss is the simplest array. Okay. So uh, to create an array in PHP, what you have to do is you have to first take uh, a name for your variable, array variable, say cricket. You'll put it equal to a keyword in PHP called array and over here, inside these brackets you will add the elements that you want to add into the array so suppose we are going to create an array of strings so we are going to add strings like this this is my second item third and this is how you terminate an array okay so basically you start <coughs> by giving it a name then by this array keyword you tell that okay this is going to be an array kind of variable and inside these small brackets you will put the items okay let's save this <coughs> now if you go and you echo this out this is what you will get localhost slash php demo and inside over here the name of the file is array demo.php so now it only shows this word array because echo is all getting that the element the variable that you want to print out is an array so echo by itself can't print out an array okay uh, it's kind of its limitation so instead whenever you get uh, array to be printed out you always use print underscore r function and inside over here you just have to provide the name of the array let's save it reload and now you can say we have printed out the array as you can see <coughs> always remember the array's index starts from 0 and not from 1 so it says the 0th element in the array is Sachin the first element is Saurabh the second is Rahul and the third is Lakshmi okay so this is how you print out an array okay now <clears throat> let's uh, learn one more way of adding variable adding items to an array suppose i want to add one more item over here what i can do is i can, I can simply put a word over here but instead what i'm doing is what i'm going to do is this dollar cricket i'm just counting 0 1 2 3 so now I'm putting dollar uh, inside the bracket I'm putting 4 is equal to sevak okay and now once I'm done with this now I'm print, uh, printing it out using printr like this okay let's save it and reload and now as you can see a fourth <coughs> a fifth item has been added so this is one way using which you can add elements to your array and trust me uh, this is what you are going to use when you are working with databases and not this way okay <clears throat> so please do make sure that you understand how this works okay 
now <coughs> let's move on to the second kind of array that is associative arrays okay so what, what is this associative array uh, associative array uh, is an array in php where you can create an array of key value pairs so what is a key value pair suppose i want to create a data structure where i want to store <coughs> two things first the name of the cricketer and second the number of centuries that he has made so effectively you can see that that it's a key value kind of thing the key over here is the name of the cricketer and the value is the number of centuries that he has made okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to create an associative array a key value pair array where we are going to store the number of centuries made by every cricketer okay so that is not very different okay so what you have to do is <clears throat> in fact uh, if you see closely even your simple array is also a key value type array only if you can see over here the zero is a key and its value is such a over here this one is a key and its value is sorrow similarly two is a key and rahul its value similarly what we are going to do is we are instead of using this default keys we are going to use our own keys okay so in this case our keys would be the name of the cricketers so uh, we already have this array we are just going to modify it to uh, our needs so whenever you want to create key value pairs or associative arrays what you do is you create keys like this we have already created keys like this just assume we have created keys like this and what you do is now you assign each one of them with a value <coughs> so <coughs> you assign value by using equal to greater than sign like this <coughs> this is how you add a key value pair okay so now if i write print r dollar cricket and save it and re, uh, print it out on google chrome this is what will happen <clears throat> now you can see the keys are that we have defined sachin saurav rahul and lakshmi right now suppose we want to add one item in this array so we'll do it like this dollar cricket we are going to add a key and the value the value would be this okay now let's save it and let's print it out and now as you can see we have added one more item to the array so this is what uh, a associative array and associative array looks like okay so uh, now that we are done with uh, simple arrays and associative arrays uh, let's move on to um, multi dimensional arrays okay so let's remove all of this and in fact let's go back here and uh, remove all the items from the array now what is a multi dimensional array a uh, multi dimensional array is basically array within an array so if you want to store suppose we are going to create an uh, data structure a data structure where we are what we are going to do is we are going to create a kind of categorization okay so there will be two categorizations uh, rather three categorizations the first one would be batsman the second one would be bowler and the third one would be wicket keeper okay and inside <coughs> batsman we are going to have an array of the name of cricketers who are batsmen inside bowlers we are going to have an array of the cricketers who are bowlers and similarly for wicket keepers we are going to have an array uh, of the names of cricketers who are wicket keepers okay so this is the data structure that we are going to create okay so let's create the data structure the first one is bats man the second one is <coughs> bowler and the third one is <coughs> wicket keeper okay now what we will do is We'll create associative structures and we'll write array and inside over here we'll put Sachin Rahul Yuvraj. Okay. Now inside baller we are again going to create this associative structure and we are going to add the name of some ballers. Zaheer. 
and Kumble. <coughs> Uh, this page is going beyond the so we'll just word wrap and inside wicket keepers <coughs> we are going to add <coughs> an array with Tony <coughs> Parthiv and Karthik so this is the data structure so we have three categorizations three keys batsman baller and wicket keeper and each of them are having an array of their own okay so now if i'll save uh, in fact what we can do is we can print it out print r dollar cricket save it <coughs> and reload <coughs> now you can see it says the array the outer array has three keys batsman baller and finally wicket keeper and each of these keys have an array as value and that array is again a simple array so 0 1 2 is basically their respective keys and they have their value such in Rahul and Yuvraj okay so this is how you create an associative array okay and this is how you print it out okay but now you must be wondering that whenever we are printing out this array um, what we are doing effectively is we are printing out the array in this array format what will happen if I want to access uh, all of them or any one of them so suppose I want to access only Rahul okay I want to print out only Rahul so how can I access Rahul out of this entire multi-dimensional array the answer is you will write it like this echo dollar cricket the name of the key that is batsman and you have to count on what number it's stored 0 and 1 so we'll put it in 1 semicolon file save reload and now you can see we are getting Rahul so if I replace it with baller and I'll save and as you are expecting you will get Bhaji okay so this is how you access individual items out of an array okay now we are going to learn one important concept that is for each loop so now what I want is I want to print out all of these in uh, the sequential format line by line one by one rather not in array format okay so to do this uh, whenever you want to loop through an array you want to print all the items present in an array you use something called a for each loop um, really sorry you use a for each loop uh, guys you are going to use for each loop quite a lot uh, in fact whenever you are going to deal with arrays almost every time you are going to uh, use for each loop uh, the difference between a for loop and a for each loop is that you don't have to provide uh, the upper limit uh, of the number to which the loop will run suppose uh, in the case of the table example where we printed out the table of a given number uh, we had to print it out up till 10 okay so we provided that number explicitly by ourselves but there will be certain scenarios in which you don't know how many items are there that I have to loop through one common example would be databases suppose you want to print out the name of the products which are currently in stock okay so now uh, the database admin handles everything so he knows about the data but as a programmer you are never given access to the database okay so you just don't know how many items are there in the database so when you fetch items out of the database you don't know the number okay so whenever you want to print out all the data from the database you'll have to use a for each loop okay so in a for each loop you don't have to provide uh, an argument explicitly to tell how many times the loop will run in fact for each loop adjusts automatically according to the need and runs only as many times uh, as there are items uh, present so suppose in an array there are 15 items so if i use a for loop i'll have to mention it explicitly that you have to run 15 times but in the case of for each loop there is no such need okay so let's do one thing let's create a simple 
for each loop first so what i'm doing is you uh, uh, it must be it may be confusing initially but you have to stick okay so just see what i'm doing we are writing for each and inside over here i'm writing cricket as dollar row or rather element and over here you are just echoing out dollar element like this so basically what you have done is you have mapped the cricket as element and now for every element you are just printing out the element itself it must be confusing but what you can do is you can just yeah <clears throat> now as you can see it printed array three times like this can you see this it's because it says the array that you want to loop through has three items or three elements <clears throat> but i can't print them because i can't echo them out because all of them are array itself so that's why it says array array and array so now if i want to print out every item what i can do is i can do this <clears throat> dollar inner element what i've done is i'm telling the loop that this is the structure of my elements so every element is going to have some inner elements so what i'll do is i'll echo out uh, the element and then what i'll do is i'll run one more for each loop to dollar inner element as dollar something an item and i'll print out echo dollar item like this and now if i'll save it and i reload now i get batsman sachin rahul yuvraj baller zaheer bhajji kumble wicket keeper dhoni parthiv kartik right now uh, what i can do is i can just add some formatting like this uh, first of all let's add a br tag for line change like this and over here to br okay let's save it and reload now i've got batsman sachin rahul yuvraj bowler zaheer bhajji kumble all in one line one more thing that can be done is this i can create a b <coughs> like this so that we get better results like this now the batsman the bowler and the wicket keeper they are in bold and the characters uh, or the items are normal so this is how you uh, use arrays in php